I just want to like... Here we go. The presets. We can see that in... Um, zombie distribution is urban focused. Oh, I thought I changed it. Let me double check that I changed it. Because I we were just playing that. Oops. Yeah. We were just playing um, that game uh, for like a while, Hover Squid, but it, I want to switch to this now. We'll have to try that sometime. But for now, I'm going to be on... Adam Bomb, thanks for the gift sub. Oh, congratulations, Hover Squid. I hope you have a fun time here. Oh. I think the helicopter should spawn more than one time. Nope, you can never win, you'll only ever die. But generally speaking, I think that if you build a base that works with uh, with the power and the water turned off around uh, a year round, then you've pretty much won the game. Okay, so I think Riverside is going to be our best bet. I'm just thinking really carefully about our options here. I really graceful. I don't really believe in like stealth in this game, but we'll see what happens. We're gonna have to be really careful with uh, fighting zombies. I could theoretically take one more funny trait. Hmm, one more four point worth trade. Um, You know what? I'm just gonna keep what I got. I like the setup that I have. Alright, what should we name our character? I'm thinking Kyle. I'm freaking Kyle. This is gonna be tough. What's up, Angelic Floof? How are you doing? Chad McBro looks like a Kyle.
We'll give him the big mohawk. We'll say his name is Kyle. All right, I'm ready. Um, I'm doing okay. We're doing VTuber Uprising this week, so I'm hoping that, you know... We have a big, the super big Jackbox finale is tomorrow, and I'm hoping a lot of people turn out for that. All right, we're gonna spawn in a random house in Riverside, Kentucky. I sure hope the zombies don't kill me to death. Oh no. It's been a while since I played this game solo though. Okay, um, looks like a pretty normal house. I'm gonna close the blinds. Yeah, sleep is both a pro and a con, though. Because you can, like, rest um, and skip days ahead. And also, sleeping is really stealthy. Sleeping keeps you out of trouble. Okay, I'm gonna get every single TV show. Yeah, 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 cooking, go up. This needs to be closed. Knox talk radio, I'm just gonna turn it off. All right, let's see if we can get the rest of this cooking. I might have already missed the cooking, because like Lamel. Electronics magazine. Um, that's it. Not a lot here. Okay, we got Electronics Magazine number three. I don't really want to spend a lot of time in this kitchen because that door can be seen through. But if I could find a water cup or something, that would be amazing. Empty white mug. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that'll help us stop us from getting dehydrated. I, I know, I've just been, I've been all over the place, spreading myself thin as usual. Okay, an orange soda to go. Let's see what else I got here. Looks like I have a couple bedrooms. This house is not too bad. It doesn't seem like it has an upper story. Um, a duffel bag. Yo, we start with a bag. Let's go. See if there's anything inside of it. No, it's empty. That's okay. Um, a pen. We're gonna want the pen to write on a map. This looks like an empty closet. And a normal bathroom. Probably not gonna use this bathroom at all. I'll do my best to survive. I don't know if I can win. Um, a tool closet. There's a, a saw. And duct tape. Empty gas can. And a hammer. Okay, the hammer is really good. Um, there's also some planks in here. The hammer is gonna help me take down some zombies. And here's some wine. That could be good later. And a teacup. Gonna cover up this window. I I wanted to try this. I wanted to see if I could do this, Hatuni. 
A uh, stapler and some paper. Don't really need that. An empty bottle and a garbage bag. All right, let's check the map. Looks like there's some above average houses around me. Like it's like not like the lower class. It's kind of like the upper middle class housing. Man, I would kill for a house like this these days. Uh, I don't have a watch. So first order of business is to get a watch. A car? Is this my car? I think it's... I think it's out of gas. Do I just start out with like a car? Like what the heck? Okay, the condition is not really as good as it looks and it's out of gas, but I have the keys. So if we get some gas, maybe we can work on it. Inside is an empty gas can and then some other stuff. I'm gonna check the glove department. Department. A battery and a pen. Um, there's some zombies over there. I'm gonna go this way, because it looks like this house has less zombies. The glove department. I meant to say compartment, but you know what? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna deal with this zombie very carefully. Oh. Come on. Yeah, this hammer is not amazing. A black digital watch. Wear it on my left wrist. It is 1120. So I'm hoping there's a TV in this house. Scary. Bonk! Bonk! Step! Oh no. They saw me. Adhesive. And pineapples. I'm gonna take those. Fruit jam. To find something more valuable, but I think I'm just gonna leave because I don't want to miss the TV. Because I'm quick and nimble, and I'm nimble and quick. Oh, frick, they noticed me. TV might not be a privilege we can afford today, gentlemen. Oh yeah. There's zombies everywhere. I might have to run off to the woods or something. Zombies equals everywhere. Alright guys, we need matches. We need to find some matches. At least I managed to grab fruit jam and pineapple. Uh, I still have my orange soda. There's, there might be a mod for that. Okay, I see this house is a little bit more secure than the other houses. Hey, Tuni, do you have any advice for me? Damn, it's locked.
I might not catch all of the TV episodes, which sucks, but it can always be fixed later with cassette tapes and books. I already see an opportunity to get away from all these zombies. Oh, then there's, there's more of the zombies. Don't sneak into my house and steal my hammer. Have some distance between me and the most of the zombies. Man, there are really a lot of zombies. Okay, maybe I could deal with these zombies. Driver. Alright. The, the fence the fence strategy was good. Alright, now I just gotta deal with these guys. Every single house we clear is gonna be a valuable asset in this mode. Oh no. More zombies appeared. Trying to get them distracted on this house. Uh, they they climb they they like shamble over the fence. Wow, there are actually a ma massive freak ton of zombies. I might have to take a risk to escape from these zombies. be patient because I think like I think I lost most of them and I think just a couple will come around the corner yeah whoa uh oh Sucks. 
Oh, I cut myself. I think I want to restart. I cut myself on the fence. I'm like screwed. I'm not screwed, but I'm screwed. You can't sprint over fences or else stupid stuff happens. That's supposed to be really unlikely because of a perk that I took. Okay, I'm good. I put a little bandage on it. Yeah, is that, um... I... That doesn't seem... Is that really what's happening? Because that seems kind of insane. Like, I can't crawl the zombies away? taking some pills yeah that seems kind of cheesy like like I wanted to play on a hard difficulty but that doesn't seem like a good way to handle difficulty I just thought it was like harder settings I'm taking an opportunity to sit on the ground for a minute a pencil Yeah, the stingers are part of the game. risky come on oh poopy time to drink some milk actually I'm just gonna drink the rest of this Well, I'll survive for as long as I can on this mode, and then we will take a look at what the mode actually does. I'll look it up on the wiki or something, and then we'll choose a different mode. I am in minor pain. 
I'm gonna take a sit while I recover and eat. It's very scary out here. Apocalypse, stealth focus, short lifespan combat best avoided, likes to be punished with realistic and deadly combat. Uh, the default, loot is rare, zombies are tough, and populations are at normal amounts. The minimap is turned off unlike other modes. I think that the zombies don't don't just come out of thin air until like night passes. I don't think they just pop out of thin air unless... Because they, they walk around. I don't think they're popping out of thin air. I've had to do a lot of sneaking. Mm. Hello, friend. my house now. Dang it! I said this is my house! I think, I, I think I'm doing a pretty good job so far. I had to miss some of the TV, but... We could be doing a lot worse. The neighbors wish to say hello. Um, a screwdriver, a toolbox. I'm gonna put the toolbox on the ground. Some rope. That might be useful later. The toolbox has nothing in it. Um, there's a March Ridge map. March Ridge is really far away, I think. And that is it. I disassembled the watch for parts and XP. There's a tire pump, some scrap, a sewing kit, and some strips. The dude didn't really have anything valuable on him. There's a little kitchen. I'm gonna try to close the blinds. We're on exposure, survival. Let's see if there's any books here. Crapping 101. I'm gonna read both of these. I'm gonna sit um, here and read these while the show is going on. Does it not stand for butter?
I'm gonna drink some milk. Okay. Actually, that wasn't enough. I need to drink all of the milk. You ever just fight some zombies and then drink an entire carton of milk? Like a whole half gallon of milk? I do that sometimes. I don't really want... Um, don't need that. I'm gonna drop the mug. I don't really want the mug anymore. Yeah, I'm literally the, the- we did that on Wednesday, Jackson Fado. I- I am the person. I am rid the risk of rain of Ollie. Welcome. That's literally me. Technically, my friends did it, but yeah. I'm gonna eat some fresh bread. Yeah, that's me! Hello! Canned tuna? Curious. I think forks and spoons can be used to make spears, but I'm not sure. I'm like pretty sure. Oh no, this is a super risky room to stay in. I want to sleep in a room, but I don't want to get trolled by zombies. Uh, if I had a saw, I would disassemble the chair. I could sleep on the couch. But I need, I want to cover up the door. Frick. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a curtain on the door. Mostly being able to block the line of sight to zombies like that. Then I'm going to set an alarm on my uh, little watch here. Looks like I woke up a little early, but that's fine. And I got some cooking skills. Oh shit. There's an alarm clock. Oh my god, the alarm clock is- All the zombies! Ah! A zombie broke in because of the alarm clock? Shut! <laughs> Okay, we survived one day. One day survive. Let's take a look at that map. There's a big building to the south. This is right down south. I was confused. 
All right, we're leaving the hideout. This bandage might be gross. Yeah. It was an adhesive bandage, so it's not like reusable or anything. Let's see what this is on the table. Uh, cigarettes, beer can, chips. I'll take the chips. Sleeping tablets. That might be useful, actually. Uh, my belt, leather jacket, blah, blah, blah. Foraging. Oh, some books? Okay, we're taking these books. There's a TV in here. A fanny pack? Hell yeah! You guys are just envious of my fanny. Oh, <laughs> is it something bad in the UK? I'm pretty sure it just means butt. It's a little bag. It's just a bag that you wear around your belt. Oh. Yeah, that would be a little different. Okay, so basically this area is semi-clear. If I had a better weapon, I would try to clear the area um, above me. But I think I just want to go to the house over. Oh. You know, in hindsight, that is kind of weird. My mom has a, uh, a lot of sisters, so I have a lot of aunts. And I remember there was a while where fanny packs were very popular. Do I have a voice pack? Uh... There are sound effects you can trigger that are me saying things. Besides that, I don't really know if I have what you're talking about. In the game, do I have a voice pack? No. I only have one mod. Um, I only have one mod, and it's that you can turn snow into water. That is the only mod that I have. Also, I found a barricaded house. Which means there's gonna be really good loot in there. But, there's also a bunch of zombies. Okay, I managed to pull two zombies away. Broken necks? Uh, why would you do that to me? Get banned! Looking for matches and a lighter. Let's check out that car. So there's actually more zombies at that house than down here. And I want to see in the car, there's a, usually pretty common to find lighters for like smokes and stuff. Can I help you, Katie? What are you doing? Yo, my sneaking went up. Let's go. Okay, we're in the car. Um, a Louisville map. We can read it. So now our map has more stuff on it. 
But nothing really of serious note. Get in the driver's seat. There's no keys. Look at Whoa. It. Empty bottle, duct tape. I'll take the duct tape. I'm done. Yo, there's keys for this taxi right here on the ground. Lucky find? A lighter. Okay, can I start a fire with only a lighter or do I need something else, Atuni? I think this thing's out of gas. Yeah, I need to make like a campfire, so I guess I need an axe. All right, we're gonna go in this building. I think this is the school. Does the school have any televisions? Sorry, I got scared. Most of this stuff is garbage. I already have the duffel bag, which is better than a school bag. That scared me. I'm just keeping in mind, like, I want to hit the TV. So I'm going to secure where the location of the TV is. You said in the office? I have a pencil. I have a pencil already. Basically, if, uh, Fenrir, um, if I get bit, the game is, like, practically over. You turn into a zombie after three days. And if I even get injured by a zombie, I have a high chance of getting infected. This is a teacher's lounge. It doesn't really look like there's a TV here, so I might come back. Of TVs? No. Of loot in general? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the house. Okay, okay, let me explain the infection thing again. If you get bit, it is a 100% chance that you will die and turn into a zombie in about three days. If you get scratched, it's about a quarter chance. Or no, I'm sorry, if you get a laceration, which is like a really bad scratch, it's like a quarter chance. 
Oh shit, there's a bunch of zombies out there. And... Uh, a scratch is like a less than 10% chance, like a 5% or 8% chance or something. Okay, Hatuni, you might be right. Zombies might be like moving into places I left, which does make this game kind of bullshit. I got a good book. We're gonna skill up right now. So I like to combine book reading with uh, the TV times to like, optimize. So now I'm gonna get like a bunch of like carpentry skill. Okay, I'm gonna leave my current books here. I guess I have to leave out, out this window because the freaking zombies move around so much. How much have I played this game? Uh, I don't... I mean, I think I got into it like maybe a little less than a year ago, and I've played it on and off like several times. Yeah, yeah, death is really, really... Like, basically, if I die, I'm starting a new world. If I die, I'm just gonna start a new world. In multiplayer, I would respawn, but I would lose all my skills. In single player, I might as well just start a new world, because, like, the TV and the power and the water and stuff. I have played this game a total of 78 hours. You're having a good time, Krakow. I think most of these offices kind of don't have a lot. What I really want is an axe, like an actual, like, real serious axe. Don't think I'll find that in the school. But, you know what I will find? Is food and books. Dude, I wish I had some ice cream. Actually, I bought some ice cream. Alright, let's see what books we can get from this library. There's also stuff in the lockers. Dude, a fresh salami? Uh, vegetable oil, olive oil... Yeast, I don't really know how to use yeast. Gravy mix...
Pretty sure these can be turned into weapons. Um, I'm like, I don't want my inventory to get too full here. But I'll try to take a lot of this stuff back. No, like, nothing really crazy good in here. Just normal peg. The protein is, like, really good because you will build muscle mass faster with protein. So I think I'm going to try to take that as much as possible. Lots of bacon and ground beef and meat patties. I wonder if a cutting board is actually useful for any recipes. I'll take it just in case. Now this lets me uh, get a couple books. The next TV show is at 18 o'clock if you look at the top right. So I want to be able to get to the books and get back to base before then. My house is not very secure, but I'm just kind of counting on being able to sneak back in. Here, bad zombie. Okay, there's no zombies in here directly. Uh, frick. Fishing. Electrician. Gonna be cherry picking the books a little bit. Oh no, my character is drowsy. That's not good. I don't think I'll be able to take all of these. Yeah, I don't want to risk taking any more. I'll take some magazines. Because they're lighter. Yeah, these are uh, way lighter and I only have to read them once. I'm especially looking for a guide on how to use generators. Dropping one of these. Um, dropping one of these. Hunter's Magazine. I think that teaches trapping stuff. Okay, uh... Alright, now I'm gonna sneak back to the house. Next time I eat garlic bread. Dude, I actually try to get like way healthy food because I'm trying not to like gain too much weight in real life. But. Um, but I will consider it. Next time I go to the store, I'll think about that. Okay, now we gotta sneak back to the house. Yeah, they're all that door down there. Pickles and peanut butter. Ah, uh, that's a definite maybe from me. Alright, see that? We gotta like sneak past that blue zombie and all those zombies on the left. Granola bar consumed. Oh no, did they see me? I don't know if they saw me. 
I don't think they saw me. Getting close. We just have to get to that window and we're home free. We have like two or three weeks of power and then after that I think another two or three weeks of water. And then that's when things get really complicated. Okay. So, we've looted a bunch of food, so I can definitely last in here for at least a week. And I've also got a bunch of books. And, like, we could basically camp and, like, just depend on books. For, like, a while. Not only that, but it's all protein. So, like, I could work out and watch TV and read all these books and just get, like, super buff and eat the protein all the time. We have the meats. Now, I just wish I had a proper axe, like a real axe, an actual axe. Oh, I just realized this curtain is open. Very carefully, got to close it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and read Farming 101 and then just sit on the ground. As soon as the TV show ends, I'm gonna make my character go to bed. Are all of their breads too sugary, or is it just some of them? I feel like a lot of America bread, a lot of American bread, um, is like... A lot of American bread is basically sh full of sugar. Okay, the TV show is over. I have an alarm set for the morning. Oh yeah, that window sucks. I'm gonna make sure this alarm clock doesn't do the thing again. There. Thanks for the follow. Then I'm gonna sleep. I think I have no more food in my inventory. Yeah. I have an apple. But it'll be fine. Okay, for some reason we're awake at 3 in the morning. Guess we didn't need to sleep that much. Um, Thinking about what to do here. 
Should probably cook something. There's a roasting pan. I, it has just occurred to me I don't have a can opener. Um, so that's kind of awkward. That would make this game so hard, and it's already so hard. Okay. Uh, we can put avocado and bacon and tomato into a roast. We can also slice some salami. Oh yeah, here we go. Add some oil and our citrus. It's gonna have bacon, uh, sausage. I think that's pretty good. Okay, now we've got this stir fry in our little inventory here. And we're gonna put it in the stove. And we turn it on. And while that is cooking, I'm gonna take care of some of these magazines. So I am getting reading while cooking. Double, double whammy. See how many of these magazines we can get through while this stir fry is cooking. An avocado bacon salami stir fry. Tuni, how am I doing so far? Why would you smack me? I didn't even do anything weird. Yo, there's apparently a saucepan in here with like some rice. Yo, it makes a slightly different sound when it's done cooking. Nice. I'm gonna eat one quarter of this. Um, then I'm gonna read this. Oh, never mind, I'm gonna read... I'm gonna drop that. Read this. California girls were unforgettable. Daisy Dukes bikinis on top. I'm gonna put the saucepan of rice in the fridge. I'll save it for later.
So our food storage situation is pretty good. My avocado stir fry is also excellent. I just wish I could split it up more somehow. Getting through all these recipe magazines. Thanks for the follow, Leapster. Do you actually play that game that like, it's like video cassette horror or whatever? Alright, our cooking skill is leveling up. Ah, oh, yeah. Uh, that might be it. Okay, so that was the whole cooking episode. I'm gonna put the rest of these books and magazines on the shelf. Those are the ones we haven't finished. When I finish books, I just drop them on the floor like a bastard. And, uh, crafting materials I'm gonna put, um, here in the kitchen. Because I'm probably not gonna use these while I'm away from the house. Probably. Okay, and, uh, that's it. Let's get out of here. Um, I can't look at the map while eating food, so hold on. Alright, let's take a look now. There are some buildings across the fence. Um, I guess we're gonna take a risk and go over there. Let me check the condition of my hammer. It's like a little over half. Wanted to make sure there's no zombies out there. No zombies, no zombies. We're going to do something really risky and hop the fence that we can't see on the other side of. Are you guys ready for this? Because we could die. Oh, no zombie. Alright, I'm pretty sure this is like a restaurant or something. I'm not, I actually don't know what this is. It might be a car wash. Oh, uh, it's just a chain. It's just a it's just a retail chain. Nah, I don't, unless there's a way to peek over the fence I don't know about. There is not, no. Oh, that's a tool store. We might find an axe in there. Yo, if we find an axe in the tool store, that would be awesome. Better yet, it looks like there's no zombies in there. I hope this doesn't make any attract any zombies to me. I don't think gas powered chainsaws are in this game, but that would be kind of cool. I feel like a chainsaw would actually be impractical for a zombie apocalypse. Okay, we got into the hardware store. Alright, oh, Smuck Stain. Since it's a resub, I I already know that's Rick Astley's never gonna give you up. I already know. I'm not playing that that copyrighted music. That's very funny though. Alright, we're we're breaking into the hardware store like Weird Al. There's a propane torch, a metal sheet. Wait, we're on day, um, I think I increased the day survived counter. A saw? I'm gonna go ahead and take that. 
Um. Wooden mallet. Don't want that. Rear driver. Seeds. I know I'll need those later. We're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. Long term commitment's what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any other guy. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Gotta make you understand. Cause I'm never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. <laughs> I've played it so many times in Beat Saber, I'm beginning to know the words. Be I'm beginning, I'm beginning to know the words. Uh, man, no axes! Ugh. Okay, we didn't get an axe, but we did get the club hammer, and that's really good. This hammer is exclusive. Um, you have to be in the club to get this hammer. Ooh, some carpentry books. Okay. So, we got some seeds and a club hammer. I'm pretty sure the club hammer is really good. Mm. I feel like I'm beginning to, to attract some attention. Somehow I doubt there's anything really crazy in here. I hope that didn't attract any zombies. Looks like just a normal office. They've got a magic mic in here, a coffee machine. And a refrigerator with nothing in it. The bathroom. Nothing. Not even the desks have anything. They're like the non-storage item kind of desks. That's kind of lame. Okay, 920. Remember, TV is at 12. Sometimes you can find backpacks here. But not very often. So it'll probably be more useful to come here when uh, it actually gets like too hot. Here we go, long gloves. Long gloves are actually kind of good. They will slightly protect my hands. Not as good as leather gloves, but they'll... They'll help, maybe possibly help prevent me getting bit, maybe. Riverside Suites. Um, I don't know what this building is. I think it's a department store. I heard Gordon Ramsay call the microwave Magic Mike once. Oh, look at those guys. Oh, I think they saw me. Yeah, by far the best thing here was the tool store. Everything else kind of sucks. Why 
know I hear boss music. Hello? Nagu, thank you for the gift subs! Okay. Um, I'm gonna check out this building down here. I don't know what that is. Thank you so much, Nagood. I hope you're having a good time. Oh shit, I misclicked. Oh, they got me. My hammer didn't make contact. I think he got me. Let's see. It's a scratch. Ooh. So it's not a bite. There's a small chance I'm infected, but it but it's hard to tell if it's for sure. We'll know cuz we'll start getting like a bunch of bullshit symptoms and then if that happens, I'll just have to restart. Yeah. Ugh, I misclicked. Okay, it's a laundromat, so I think that's kind of not a big deal. Yeah, if you guys want to predict... That's actually a perfect idea. Shadow, can you make a prediction? Is it infected or am I going to be okay? Alright you guys, it's up to y'all. We're gonna find out probably within 12 hours, 12 in-game hours. Whoa, people are getting channel points for this? Okay, vending machine. Some soda pop. Don't mind if I do. Cleaning liquid. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take that. It's really useful for cleaning clothes. Alright, let's go back to the house. That zombie knocked my hat off. Uh, did you set the prediction time really long? Because we're not going to know for sure for a while. I did not pick up any, um, five minutes. Yeah, gambling. Muxstain, what's your favorite stuff that we've done on this stream? Hi, 
Alright, we got carpentry level two. I'm gonna finish this farming book. All right, I want to take a look at a map. Don't want to deal with this right now. My character is getting drowsy, but it's only like freaking 1450. What's up, dreamer? Okay, now we've read through that book. Are there guns in this game? Yeah, but I'm not really anywhere near an armory. Um, Hudsel sent me a map a while ago. Riverside. We started Riverside, right? There's a zombie shuffling around outside. Let me look at the map here. Yeah, I see. There's like the school. So, where's the school? I can hear a zombie outside. Oh man. Wait, did he only knock once? No, no, he's at the door. Hey, buddy. <sighs> Stupid corpses. We have to move these away from the door or else they'll be gross. It's possible to get sick from them. Uh. Okay, hopefully you can pull the trigger on that later on because we're not going to know for like a while. That's a scarecrow. That's just a really weird looking scarecrow. Okay, there's a Gigamart near me. An ice cream parlor, a pharmacy, Enigma Books, a clothing store, a hotel, 
Uh, a U.S. mail place and a VHS store, if I just look around very carefully. But there's not really, like... A super amazing place to get weapons and tools. There is a police station nearby. So I might just have to browse um, houses until I get what I want. I'm gonna make my character work out. But before I do that, I'm going to make them take off the sweaty clothes. Because they'll overheat. Pluto Nash? I don't know if that's in this game. We do 10 minutes of each exercise every single day, then um, we will get an improvement to our fitness level. I might also cook something. Cook another high protein meal. You guys ready for another stir fry? Let's add um pickles. Salami. And tomato to this rice. Thing. Yeah. Okay, now we have to like put it in the stove. Otherwise, it's gonna be stupid. But right now, I'm learning fishing skill. Always carry a paper clip. The first thing they teach you in the army. Um, I could try finding- actually it's a rice meal, it's not a stir fry. I added oil, which is weird. I don't think you normally do that for rice, but whatever. Now we're gonna put it in this stove. Turn it on. I'm gonna fill my orange soda bottle with water again. I'm also gonna wash myself. I'm a disgusting little man. I'm a little disgusting little dude. Oh, it got burnt. Crap. Ah, that sucks. I I guess I thought it would take longer to cook. 
Oh well. Not a big deal. No, I am not stunky. I I thought it would take like a way too long time. Oh, that chocolate was a lot actually. I'm gonna wear this and this. And uh, double check my uh, my alarm. Gonna sleep. No longer turbo sleep deprived. And also no longer exhausting. Alright, we have exercise fatigue, but I think I can survive it. I'm in minor pain. There's gonna be an op a thing on the TV soon. Heckin' Cook Show is on. Okay, our cooking skill has leveled up a little bit. Alright, I'm gonna try to go to the Giga Mart today. I'm going to leave my regular hammer here. Um, I want to cook. Actually, I'll just hold on to the pop. Oh, I've got four pops. We don't need all four of those. I'm also going to leave sleeping tablets here. I don't really need that with me. Yeah, I don't actually have very much, uh... Um... I do not have very much seasonings, but maybe can get some at the Gigamart. Can I go ahead and cook this before I go? It's breakfast. I am not a stinky of Bali. Okay, that's only going to take like a little bit to cook. I want to go ahead and get that book I was reading earlier. Actually, I can finish all these magazines. I'm just going to have this open so I don't burn it again. Now we're multitasking with power. I, I'm beginning to think we didn't get infected, guys, because I think I would have had symptoms by now, so I think we lucked out. We'll know for sure in, like, a little longer, but I think we lucked out. Because the symptoms would have hit by now.
Okay. Um, food's ready. And I got through some magazines. I'm just gonna go ahead and eat half of this here. And then refill on water and get out of here. I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of water there. Alright, let's go to the Mega Mart. The Mega Mart is down to the south. Or I guess down left. Or down right, sorry. It's like down to the... It's right... My right hand side and then down. Isometric and compass directions confuse me. Thanks for the head pads. I just know there's gonna be a lot of dudes at the Giga Mart. Alright, yeah, there's a lot of zombies over here. I wish I had an axe. about how I can get to the Gigamart, but we'll figure it out. Two annotated maps? Ah, one of them's for West Point. And Louisville. Hmm, okay. So that's possible loot in the future. Those annotations get put on my main map too, which is really nice. All right, we're going to slowly approach this grocery store and try to get inside. Yo, that's a police guy. That is a JS-2000 shotgun. It doesn't look like he has a lot of- it's got six shots in it. Oh, maybe. I guess I'm packing guns now. Whoa, hello! Hmm. 
All right, see that crowd of zombies? We're gonna clear them all out very carefully. This might be a massive mistake. I may or may not have just attracted every zombie in the region. That was the last shot. Without ammo, this uh, gun is kind of useless. That guy didn't have any more ammo. I see more friends! I got really popular really fast. I don't know why. Weird. I'm just gonna chill while the uh, while things get a little calm out there. It is, but also I get shot. I get skill points for using the shotgun, and also I did kill some zombies. And I knew that fence would save my ass, so. Stir fry. The the revolver, the M36 revolver has three rounds in it, which is not really very much. All right, we got lucky. Remember those gloves I picked up, like, in the clothing store? I think if it wasn't for those gloves, I might have been dead. All right. Let's go round two of uh, trying to get into the Gigamart. Or there's a house that is like a survivor house. I can try to get in there. Oh, hello, friend. Um, Have I forgotten to press the day counter? I feel like we're on day three. Are we on day three? It says three days and three hours. And we've killed 51 zombies.
Okay, this house is all boarded up. I want to get in here because it's almost guaranteed to have awesome survivor loot. It might just have zombies on the inside, too. Whoa! There's a lot of zombies in there. Alright, we'll come back to that, that later. I think that guy has the knife in his back. One, I'm gonna handle this guy. Don't dead open inside. Okay, Tormgard, have a good evening. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I wonder what language this is. What you're witnessing is a pro zombie fighter. I'm a pro zombie fighter, fighter of the pro zombies. Oh shit. Make sure there's space behind me. This is a per possibly precarious situation. Okay. Woo! All right. No, 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 no. There's way more zombies on the other side of that fence. Also, there's a chance you can fail the fence hop, so I don't like doing it if zombies are really close to me. one that's right I will overcome adversity man there's so many I just want to get to this gigamart but there's endless zombies Dude, they, they really got the sound design of this game on point. Whoa! Come on! Uh oh. Oh! Oh shit! Okay. This is. Now we're in trouble. We're in trouble a little bit.
We need these guys to go down. Come on. I've had it happen when I was perfectly fine, like unencumbered and everything. There we go. Oh, close one. Yeah. No. Stay back. Get back. Die, zombie. Okay, that was a lot of zombies. Time to drink a soda pop. Whew! Alright. Well, we didn't clear the Gigamart. But I'm gonna let my character rest a little bit so I don't get in trouble. We cleared a lot of zombies from around the Gigamart. I think that was well played, if I do say so myself. Just unlocking that door. Do not nom me! No, I don't want to be nommed. Oh, don't be weird! Alright, some of this stuff I'm going to put, like, in the fridge so it thaws. Oh shit, not all of it. How many patties was that? Don't be weird! Dude, there's like... What is marmalade? Is marmalade like lemonade? I don't know, but I'm gonna open this can of sardines. I'm a banana cheesecake? What can we cook in here? Ugh, I can add fish. And oil. We're gonna make some oily fish. Yeah, 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 I'll check it out, Dash. I just don't want to overextend myself because my character is, like, exhausted right now. Turning on that oven. Sardines in the heckin' oil. Uh, TV is at 18 o'clock. I'm gonna do some exercise while this cooks. Ten minutes of squats.
If I was to teach a subject in school, uh, I don't really, I hate, I feel like I would, everyone says I would be a good teacher, but I don't think I would ever like it. So like when I was growing up, people would be like, you would be a good teacher, Neo. And I was like, I don't want to teach. But if I had to teach, I don't know. See, like I just hated school so much that it's like, it's hard. Like I really hated school as a kid. I would get, I would, I had a lot of friction with a lot of teachers and classmates, like elementary through high school. Like I was, I was troublesome and I was difficult and I would not do the homework. I was a problem causer. I was not a very good student. I was difficult. You ever fry sardines in olive oil and vegetable oil, or is it just me? Oh, I hear a zombie outside. I'd be the sub everyone likes. Yeah, I actually hated how like I could do the tests in most of my classes and get like a B or an A, but then the homework was just like, I'm already at school for eight hours. Why do I have the homework for all of my classes? Yep, yeah. School and then ADHD people like us are like, they double struggle in school because it's extra stupid for us. You're on trial for murdering the president. Your defense lawyer is Saul Goodman, but the prosecutor is Nardwar. I don't know who Nardwar is. Okay. Uh, that was the TV show. We made it to the next day, guys. Pablo Stromo is raiding! Welcome! How was Destiny 2, Cobble? Yeah! Hi, guys! Oh, shit. The zo- Peter! The zombie is here. I'm gonna have him come outside so I don't have to pick him up. Kata, the zombie is here. Gross. Nasty. Okay, I guess I can't go back to sleep. Um... Let's do 10 minutes of burpees. Slay the Spire? What level? Um, How good are you at Slay the Spire? This is a solo game. I'm doing Apocalypse solo. We've survived for four days. We got scratched one time, but then it was okay. We didn't get infected. It's very hard. There are zombies everywhere. Oh, dang, you okay? You got a little further than I did. I got to Ascension 17 on um, the Silent, and then, like, 
not nearly that far on all the other characters. The game's really hard. Problem is, I'm stupid. So, I just have a hard time. Yeah. I'm in minor pain because of all the working out I've been doing. Cooking skill level up. Alright, let's go to that Mega Mart round. Ooh, hold on. Do I have any painkillers? Yeah, I do, baby. Taking pills. My character has pain from all the uh, pain they've been dishing out now. The, the working out they've been doing. Yep, no infection, we're clean. It's been like two days with no symptoms. But yeah, I'm doing Apocalypse Solo right now, uh, Kobol, but we should do... I want to do a team-up game. I've got like three different games of Project Zomboid going on. Alright, let's check out if that survivor house uh, is next to us. You know what I thought would be funny, Cobble, is um, opening up a game where like I invite a couple friends and then I invite all my subscribers and it's a server and then it's a free-for-all. They're not on voice, but they're in the world, you know? I thought that would be interesting. That might be spicy. No rules. Except obviously no hacking and no like bad words and stuff, but like it's a free-for-all. PvP is allowed. Oh, man. I thought there would be loot in this house since it was all boarded up. An axe! Oh my god, yes! Ah! Witness my power! Bonk! 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 So the axe is really good because um, I can tear apart furniture with it and also cut down trees with it. And... Uh... And it, I get a bonus to, like, leveling axe because of my starting stuff. I also found a garden fork, and I'm just going to leave it here. Did I find anything else I want to drop? I don't really want to carry around a frying pan anymore. I'm just gonna put that in front of here because I know I'll use it later. Does the equipment have durability? Yes, it does, which for some things is really annoying, but you can repair stuff. The problem is that every time you repair things, it gets, like, worse at being repaired. I think they eventually want to have that in the game, Hatuni, so I don't blame you for modding that in. Don't you, um, get maintenance levels from hitting things, Cobble? Pretty sure.
Now here we go. Look what the well, look what the I guess it's zombie season. Yeah, that's a lot of zombies though. Well, that was useless. Yeah, I know. And guns were already nerfed. Never shoot unless it's green. I was planning on throwing that gun away anyways. I've been playing around these fences, like, the whole time. Yeah, increasing strength will help you beat zombies more often. Hey, buddy! Let me introduce you to myself! Is working out worth doing? Because I've been doing the workouts every evening. I am I'm getting closer to the Giga Mart. That zombie is deaf. Hey, buddy! Bonk! Yes! Alright, let's check out what's in this car. What? Nothing. Eh, some tape. Let's see what's in the back. What do I take for traits? Um I'll put it up here. Can you is that can you see that or I can read them out if you need me to. Alright. We're in the Pizza Hut. We're in the Taco Bell. We're in the Pizza Hut combination Taco Bell. A fluffy and adorable. I'm glad you think so. House key. Hey, I have a feeling a lot of zombies are gonna come through there. The two zombies, three zombies. Looks like they have a little pathfinding error. Suddenly, I feel like there's a lot more zombies coming. Okay. Yeah, I always take underweight, um, because I feel like I can just fix it in the playthrough by eating a lot of garbage. 
<laughs> by basically eating food like a bastard. Speaking of eating food like a bastard. Hmm. I was really hoping I'd be able to get into the Mega Mart, but I might have to make another run for it. I'll just go back to base. Oh, I see a little zombie over there. But yeah, I'm taking Slow Healer, Speed Demon, Cat's Eyes, Fast Reader, Gymnast, Fast Learner, Out of Shape, Stout, and Very Underweight. Some of these traits, I take them because they get fixed partway through the playthrough if you play well. Yeah, but out of shape can be fixed, right? Like, that'll fix itself. Doesn't it? My character is beginning to get a little tired. No, it, it totally does. It totally does. If you work out a lot, it fixes itself. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. What does out of shape give? I don't actually know. I don't actually know what it does. It might just be like a like a penalty to fitness, yeah. Uh, let's see what we can cook. Hmm. Ooh. Mostly, I just get one item and then I add both of the oils. It makes it very fattening, but that's actually what I need right now. Welcome back, Sir Foxy. I haven't found any salt or pepper. Dude, I put both oils on it so that I can gain some weight, okay? Don't judge me. Or actually do judge me a little bit, I guess. Just want to make sure it's not burning. If you, if you cover it in olive and vegetable oil, is it really going to be that bland? I mean, sardines are already salted. If you think about it. Do I break the spaghetti before putting it in the pot? Uh, No. No, I do not.
Wrong answer. Hey, buddy. Oh, shit. I, I missed Swung, but he didn't make contact. That was really close. Take all these back to my base. That's all like actually good stuff. Right, let's take a look here. Boss pan, spatula. I wonder if spatulas are actually used. I have a saucepan already. You know what I'm ironically missing is a uh, can opener. I actually can't open cans. Oh, there's double shotgun in there? Uh, let me just make sure it's kind of clear out here. Okay. Shotguns. Um, a box of shotgun shells. Oh. I might take... Ooh, it's got a choke tube and a sling. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and take that and the shotgun shells. And then very carefully I'm gonna go back to my base. There might be a zombie in here. Okay, I've officially looted this house. I'm gonna put the shotgun here and the ammo for it here. All my crafting stuff I put in this corner. All these things can be used to make better spears and stuff, so I've always put it in this corner. There's different stages of encumbrance. So there's like slightly over encumbered and then like massively over encumbered and then like epically horribly over encumbered. That's why. Now, what can I make now? Ooh. Uh, I can attach the butter knife to the spear. I want to do that. Um, 
seems to be about it, though. I think that when you craft these, like, spears, uh, generally speaking, they are all very much very similar, question mark? I think? In terms of, like, damage and stuff? But I'm not 100% sure? What's up, Vogue the Sea Circle? Welcome. Um... Uh, you guys ready for like round four of trying to get to that stupid place? Although I think that by now I should just search the house nearby because it's going to be TV time soon. So I'm just going to search these houses instead. Because I'll be closer. A can opener. Now we can open the food. Uh, tumblers, a water container. No frozen stuff? Cereal. <laughs> no, no good, please, no. I'll, I'll come up with better jokes. I'm sorry. Please, please don't. <laughs> Yo, there's a TV in here. Ouch! Help you guys. Mm. My character is beginning to get tired. Yo, do canned beans make you fart? Okay, Kobo, thank you so much for the raid. Kobo, I have a proposal for you. Don't you organize weird. a modded game that you think would be fun for us. And if you want, we can have like one or two other people. And I will play that modded game of Project Zomboid with you once a week. Because it will be funny. Oh shit! Ah! The door was locked! Oh my god! Actually, where are the zombies? What? Oh, there they, there they are. Oh, 
shit. Hey, buddy. Well. Take get more canned food. And this stuff. I'm gonna add some things to that soup. Oh, a zombie. Okay, it's just one zombie. Oh, it's two zombies. Okay. Two zombies. Just, just two zombies. Never mind. It's more than two zombies. Oh! Oh man! Oh shit! Sorry, pot of soup, you gotta go. TV is possibly not happening tonight, but that's okay. I, there isn't a TV on this side of the fence, so... I mean, I might be able to go in here. I think there's a TV in here? Yep. Oh, I got on just in time. I uh, will navigate back to the house uh, after this TV is over. This is going to be precarious because I don't have anywhere safe to sleep anymore. I might consume this entire box of cereal for extra strength. I don't know what Pluto Nash is. All right, we're going to go back. Going to sneak back to the house. 
I just hope all the zombies aren't there anymore. Or most of them. Okay, there's a lot of zombies. That was almost a fail. I'm gonna eat half of a box of cereal for extra energy. There. That will increase my power level. Yeah, they're like all camping my house, which is really bad. Is it possible to set off another alarm? Like, like there's a bunch of cars. Ooh, that's not good. I do not know where to go. Okay, there's a chance that the next house down here is fine. My spear has expired. Finishing this box of cereal, I need it. I need the power. All right, see if we can get any luck in this house. Maybe it's safe. Looks decent. There's a bathroom. Closet. A bed. Uh, some ammo. Martinez, welcome. Hello. Alright, there's a single can of soup here. Luckily, I have a can opener in my small little bag. There's also some steak and pork chop. I'm going to leave it out so it thaws overnight. And then I'm going to close the door and the blinds in this room and sleep because my character has to. It is now 4.20 in the morning. There's like nothing else in this house. Just cooking some steak and pork chop.
Uh, sometimes uh, people can redeem things that make me shake, uh, Fenrir. You ever just, like, be, like, running around raiding people's houses and decide to, like, bake an entire steak and a pork chop? And then, like, alright, this is what I'm eating today. Or does that just happen to me? You know what I need to do? is I need to secure a car and find a much better place to make a base, like a warehouse or somewhere with multiple floors. Oh crap, I sped up time too much and burned the food. Oh well. That's okay, I do have mushroom soup in my inventory. Alright, we have to go back. If I hit a car, will it cause a car alarm? Because I feel like I want to cause a car alarm. Get them away from my house. Oh, that's another day survived. Um, I'll hit the counter as soon as I have a free moment. My base is covered in zombies! Okay, new plan. We're gonna start the fire. After I kill these three zombies, I'm gonna start a fire. We're gonna start a fire, a flame. Why is my character queasy? Uh oh, that's not good. Is it because I ate burnt food? I hope that doesn't get me killed. We haven't taken any zombie injuries in a long time. I just won't eat any more burnt food. I messed it up. Now, oh, that's that's a shame because 
Dude, I have been trying. It is difficult to get anything right now, okay? I missed the TV show. Frick. Not a big deal. Okay. Wash all my clothing. Uh, we're gonna get some wood. Luckily, this backyard has a couple trees. I only need one campfire of wood. Okay, now I should be able to craft this. Now what I need to know is, does it need fuel? Does it start with fuel? Obviously it does, right? Now, it's actually been a while since I placed a campfire. Uh... Alright, we're gonna lure all the zombies here. Like a bunch of zombies could attack me while I'm doing a bunch of inventory management. That could happen too. They're all coming! I didn't even make any sound! Except for when I beat up all these zombies, I guess. Alright.
So much bull crap. I don't even know if this is worth anymore because I feel like I've slowly taken out all the zombies here while trying to get this going. Do I not have a... I have a lighter with all the fuel. What am I missing? Bender the Ice Wing. Welcome. Do I have to, like, take the lighter out of my inventory? Light fire. Oh, yeah, okay, I need some sheets. Alright, the fire is lit. Um, unfortunately, I think the point is moot, because most of the zombies are already gone. But for the future, I got it. There we go. Now just follow me through town while I drink my soup. All the zombies are going to be on fire now. Wait, maybe not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. All the zombies. I wonder if this counts towards zombies killed. Hitouni, uh, you should show this to Hudzel, because I'm about to kill all these zombies with a little bit of flame. Mmm, yummy. Just walking away. That's a decent crowd. Let's keep going.
I have set all of them on fire, Hudzel. All the zombies are on fire now. Well, kinda. I'm just gonna parade them through the town. Yeah, follow me! <laughs> this is apocalypse mode, by the way. Even more zombies! Yes, all of you. Come come to me, zombies. It takes a long time for a zombie to burn down, but that's okay. I have a lot of time. Ouch. Smack. Yeah, they're starting to go down. This is beautiful! I think I did a good job, guys. I just hope it doesn't spread like a wildfire and burn down the whole town! We did it, Patrick! We saved the city! noises. Look at all those zombies. I like when they fall down and make that splort noise. Splort. Some of the town probably caught on fire, but that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. Ouch.
It would be super cool if I could make it a day 30 in this. Brody? Getting a little confident. But I wish I had a better source of fire. Mm, my character is mildly exhausted. Oh, that house is on fire. Well, we're not going in that house anymore. We can go inside this one, though. There's no food in here. They're all gonna pile up on the door to this house while on fire, which is great, epic, supreme. Yeah, they did it. They went inside the house while on fire. Good job, zombies. <laughs> they just fall over dead like, I've had enough of being on fire. Blech. Hello. Okay. Okay. Hello? This is my house. I don't want them to get close to my house. Just gonna walk away while they're on fire. On fire! That house is a little bit on fire. That house is also on fire. catch on fire man that one zombie just is not catching on fire yeah let's go I cleared so many zombies I don't think it counts towards zombies killed but that's okay yeah Brody Hello, friends! They're just standing there, on fire. In front of my house. Whoa. 
There's a lot of zombies there. They're actually walking around like weirdos. I might go inside the school just for food and stuff. Actually, going inside the school is a terrible idea because they'll light it up. They died the way they lived, dumb and on fire. I need to lose these guys. I need to give these guys the the dip. All right, we're going to sneak away. And try to get in my house. That was a lot of zombies we just ended. I think. Somewhere out here I dropped my bag. I don't know where it is. Oh, you're right. There is somebody in my house. Oh, there's my bag. There's actually a couple things going on out here that are a little bit weird. Yeah, I'm in my house, but I know that there's two zombies in here for some reason. Okay, we made it back in the house. Let's cook food. Mm. Gonna open some beef. Add some oil. Add some hot pepper. All right, we're making a roast. What else can I make? Hmm. Can't really make a lot of stuff actually. Guess I just don't have the resources. I am hungry. My character is tired and hungry. That's okay, though, because we're going to make an epic roast soon. Oh, welcome, Vortex. Happy birthday. Was it the... Did it end up... Was the, was the hypothesis about it being your power supply correct, basically? I know, it's Vi's birthday. Uh, I announced their birthday in the server. It's- we just had like 10 birthdays back to back. Like, it's crazy. There are so many birthdays right now.
I wonder when people did things. Oh my. I learned something about trapping. Okay, people, in spite of all odds, we have survived for a total of six days, I think. Which means, and it's also been about five hours of streaming, so I think I'm going to call it. Um, tomorrow is the finale of our little VTuber uprising, whatever, you know. Uh, I hope that everyone will join us. At 2 p.m. PST, we're going to have like a super epic Jackbox session. We've, it's been a long time since we did Jackbox. I'm really trying to hype it up. I made a Discord event so everybody knows what time it'll be. Uh, I hope everyone will be there. We're gonna do like quiplash, murder trivia party, um, and like, you know, champed up, and all that stuff. It's gonna be crazy. Um, if you want, if you need to be like, you know, that there's a Discord event thing. And I'm gonna get some food and work out and work on some, some stuff, so... I'm going to call it for tonight. I'm going to throw you guys over. We're going to find a raid. But before I do that, consider uh, checking out this our event in Discord. If you're just joining the server, you'll probably have to agree to the rules and react to the thing in order to come through. But yeah. Um, yes, Buff Burp. I, I have to work out because I want to live a long time and be able to eat lots of fun food for a very long time. So let's take a look at what we got going on with our live stream here. Uh, Bubbles is streaming. Blue Zest is streaming. Pluto is streaming. Uh, Lumetric is streaming. Chaotic Canine is streaming. Let's see here. I think I'll throw you guys at, at... Oh, it's a hard decision. You know what? Pluto is doing a subathon. I don't know why. Well... Mm, I'm gonna do Blue Zest. Yeah. Fine one. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Sorry, booze this. This was a hard decision. Did they change He's playing the oxygen not included. Our food? Do I have to rely on meal lice? Uh I know uh, of him, but we've we've scarcely ever talked to Vortex. I don't even know if I'm following them. Let me check them out really quick. We're mutuals on Twitter. I could raid them. Water to oxygen hydrogen could be handy because we have that infinite water supply. You know what? We've raided Blue Zest like a hundred times and we've never raided this guy. Let's raid Dangers. What the heck? 
got lots of time. Lots of time indeed. I have some food I want to cook in real life, so I will see you guys later. Um, six days. We survived six days. Pretty cool, I think. So okay. six days in apocalypse mode. Like, that's epic, right? That's kind of cool. I think that's cool. I don't know. Like, apocalypse mode over the default settings is like the hard mode. So, Momoa. Alright, I'm going to send you over in um, five, four, three, two, one. Bye-bye!